The Remark Products Group at Gravic Inc. is pleased to provide you with the following product tour of Remark Office OMR version 8. In 1991, Remark Office OMR was released as an alternative to traditional OMR solutions. This unique software package is designed to process plain paper forms such as tests and surveys. It recognizes optical marks, machine-generated text, also known as OCR, and barcodes. Handwritten text can be captured as images, selected as data entry fields, or coded by theme. Today, there are over 45,000 Remark users, including educational institutions, large and small corporations, government agencies, and healthcare providers. You can create your own scannable forms for use with Remark Office OMR using any form design software such as Microsoft Word. This ability to create your own forms allows you to have complete flexibility over the layout and content of your forms. Having the ability to process forms printed on plain paper eliminates the need for special paper forms that contain dropout inks and timing marks down the side. Respondents are no longer required to use a number two pencil to fill in their responses. Forms can be printed on a laser printer or photocopied, which makes in-house duplication easier than ever before. By using plain paper and eliminating the need to outsource the printing process, Remark has saved customers thousands of dollars per year in form costs. A template file must be created for any form you wish to process within Remark Office OMR. Designing this template takes place in the software's template editor. This is where you define the various areas of the form that you want the software to recognize and choose what type of data output you require when the filled-in forms are processed. OMR bubbles are the areas on a form a respondent fills in to correspond with their answer choices. On the course evaluation shown, these areas refer to ratings on the instructor, grading, and more. Barcodes are a great way to capture important information while saving space. With the latest version of the software, Remark Office OMR version 8, you can now use one barcode that contains multiple pieces of information as form, page, and respondent identifiers on the form. This feature is useful for processing multiple form types at one time without pre-sorting that use barcodes to identify them. OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, is used to recognize machine-printed text. With this feature, you can preprint information on your form, such as demographic information and other identifiers. In addition to the OMR, barcode, and OCR regions, Remark Office OMR can also process image regions, which are areas of handwritten text. You can choose to generate image clips for each of these regions, select them as data entry fields, or set them up for qualitative coding. Remark Office OMR provides quick and accurate data processing. It recognizes real-world forms that are not filled in perfectly. The ability to review exceptions once the data has been collected allows you the opportunity to review and correct exceptions, such as missing or multiple responses, before exporting your data or running any analysis with Remark QuickStats. And now, with version 8, you have the ability to ignore large marks on your form. If your respondents cross out a selected answer on their form, you can now ignore the mark that was used to cross out the answer. Unlike past versions, you can now instruct respondents to cross out their mistakes rather than attempt to erase them or use whiteout. You can process your forms in Remark Office OMR in one of two ways. You can use a regular image scanner via a Twain driver or generate image files with a network multifunction machine. Using the software's read wizard, you can then pull these images from your network to collect the data. The information you collect appears just as if it were scanned directly with an image scanner. 
Image scanners and multifunction devices can be purchased from leading manufacturers such as Xerox, Fujitsu, Lexmark, Hewlett Packard, Samsung, Epson, Panasonic, Sharp, and Toshiba, just to name a few. After scanning or reading completed forms, the collected data will appear within a spreadsheet style grid. An image viewer is provided to review the processed form on screen, while a graph viewer displays a graph of the data being processed. This graph indicates the frequency of each response chosen. The image viewer shows each processed form so that you never have to sift through the paper forms to correct problems or enter handwritten information. As with all of the Remark products, Remark Office OMR8 includes the built-in analytical tool, Remark QuickStats. This can be used for test grading and survey analysis. Powerful filtering capabilities are included to make it easy to break down data based on your specific criteria. One of the new test grading reports in version 8 is the Student Response Report. This report shows a matrix of all the students and test questions, the answer chosen, and a color code to indicate whether it was the correct response. It provides fast insight into both student and question performance. The second grading report added is the Demographic Grade Report. This report allows you to see test scores broken down by specific criteria. You can select questions from the data on which to base the report. For example, this report is especially useful for comparing demographic groups. If your students mark a category such as ethnicity on their test answer sheet, you can view the data by ethnic group. And the last grading report added to the latest version of Remark Office OMR is the Condensed Test Report. With the Condensed Test Report, you can provide a summary of basic test statistics. The header optionally contains statistical information about the test results as a whole, while the body of the report shows each question, its response frequency, distractor information, group responses, and the point by serial calculation. The following reports are also available for grading tests. The Student Statistics Report can be used to view class performance for tests. It is a great report for quickly seeing how students are performing and whether they are meeting standards. The Comparative Grade Report allows you to select up to three pieces of data from your data set by which to break down the data. The Class Frequency Distribution Report provides a distribution of the grades for an entire class and test. This report is useful for gaining a quick grasp on class performance. The Test Statistics Report provides basic statistics on the test as a whole and is useful for gaining a quick look at performance and basic statistical analysis. The Detailed Item Analysis Report, Item Analysis Graph Report, and Condensed Item Analysis Report provide answer choice frequency information on a question-by-question -question basis. Using the item analysis reports, you can see how students responded to the question. If problems are found, you can throw out the question or allow additional responses to be considered correct without rescanning test forms. The test item statistics report displays statistical information for each question, allowing you to quickly see which questions were answered correctly and incorrectly as well as question validity information. The cross-tabulation report provides information about two questions within one chart, allowing you to see a breakdown of responses for two questions simultaneously. The student grade report provides complete test information for each student that can be handed back to a student, parent, or teacher. It also includes an image of the test form to display marked responses. And the Response Report by Item and Response Report by Respondent provide data based on open-ended questions. They can display the question data by Respondent or by Question. In addition to test grading, Remark QuickStats can also be used to tabulate and analyze surveys. Two new survey reports were added to version 8. The question mean report provides the mean for every question tabulated, 
allowing you to quickly see individual question performance. It allows you to see each question that was tabulated, along with the minimum and maximum values assigned to the question, and the mean calculated from the responses. You can also display a bar chart of the mean. The last new report in Remark Office OMR8 is the Basic Item Analysis Report. This report provides a condensed view of all the questions on the form, means, and response frequencies. The following reports are also available for tabulating surveys. The Detailed Item Analysis Report, Item Analysis Graph Report, and Condensed Item Analysis Report provide answer choice frequency on a question-by-question -question basis, similarly to the same reports available for test grading. The Item Statistics Report displays descriptive statistical information for each question. The statistics are displayed in groups, allowing you to show or hide the group you need. The Cross-Tabulation Report describes the distribution of two variables simultaneously. The Comparative Item Report compares performance for various demographics included in the survey. And finally, the Response Report by Item and Response Report by Respondent provide a listing of responses to particular questions. These are generally used to display answers given for open-ended questions. The raw data collected using Remark Office OMR can be exported to over 35 different formats. These include SPSS statistical software, spreadsheet formats such as Excel and Lotus, database formats including Oracle, SQL, and Access, ODBC database support, delimited ASCII, and many more. The reports generated in Remark QuickStats can also be exported in formats such as PDF and TIFF so that they can be sent to and reviewed by recipients who do not have access to Remark Office OMR. You can even email reports to recipients directly through the software.